I'm Rob, this is Parent XP, welcome to the vlog. And here we are having our Weird Wednesday frog hopping solution. Okay, how'd you get on? You alright? Yeah? Now, doing this problem you don't need to use frogs. I mean, I'm only doing that because I'm a professional frog trainer and I could get them to sit still for long enough and do exactly what I want them to do. You can use like Duplo or uh, <laughs> anything really. What should be happening about here is you should now be seeing the solution to the 3x3. Three three. Anyway, 3x3, three three, the answer is 15. That's how many moves it takes. So when I did it, I wrote it down like that. Then what I did was I went on down the numbers a little bit. So uh, two frogs of each colour is eight moves. And then four frogs of each colour is 24 moves. And five frogs of each colour is 35 moves. So now I've got four pieces of information that allow me to see a pattern that's forming. Now this is my formula for frogs. If you have the M is just short for writing the number of moves and the F is the number of frogs then your formula for working it out is M number of moves equals number of frogs times by number of frogs plus frogs add frogs or to put it a slightly more complicated way but in terms of algebra simplified f squared plus 2f and that will work for any number of frogs you can try it out with the numbers that we've got over there so let's say, just say we do it with the uh, 3 and 3 right you and I know it's 15 all we'll do is approve it so 3 times 3 is 9 3 add 3 is 6 9 add 6, 15. Number of moves, bosh. Everybody happy with that? Shall I really mess with your head? Okay. If your kids found that really simple, then what you can do is you can step it up a notch. What happens if the numbers of frogs aren't equal? So if you've got, say, three red frogs and two green frogs, how many moves is that going to take? Or if you've got seven red frogs and five green frogs, how many moves is that going to take? They can play around with those, but the thing is, this formula still works. You just go do it as if it's the number of red frogs times by the number of green frogs, and then you add it to the number of red frogs, add the number of green frogs. The formula there, should tell you how to do that. Essentially it's the same idea, it's the number of frogs on one side and the number of frogs on the other side. Frogs times frogs and then frogs add frogs, put those two numbers together and you get your answer. It works for any number of frogs. Hopefully that was relatively clear with a few animations and things thrown in. This is a bit of an experiment. If people like this and want more of them then I'll do some more so drop us a comment, um, give this a little thumbs up or whatever, do subscribe, and I'll bang out some more of these. All right, thanks a lot for watching, bye.